What's up guys? Brian and Darcy from Darcy's Offshore, and we are down here in North Florida. We're basically right here in Chattanooga, Florida. We're right next to the Woodruff Dam, and we are going to be on the Apalachicola River tonight with Bob, Captain Bob and Captain Bush with like the sickest bow fishing boat ever, and I'm going to be shooting all kinds of fish. Yeah, well, she's going to kill them all, and uh, we're going to have a great night. Let's get out right on the boat. Yeah, it's getting dark. <laughs> so what's the funnest thing you do? I know uh, you get to travel and watch you fish, you know, watch yeah. all kind of fishing shows. Yeah, but that's what we do is we and fish. And by the way, thank you very much. Thanks. You know, I watch sports videos, sports yeah. TV. I mean, that's what all you I do. do. Yeah, I mean, gotcha. That's, that's what I like. So you know? like the hunting stuff and Everything. the fishing stuff. And I don't yeah. hunt, but right. I like watching colors. Right. It's just different adventures, you know. Yeah, but, we started this. 10 years ago, I just started posting on Instagram. We started dating back then 10 years ago and just went fishing on the weekends, posted my pictures and stuff. And it just blew up from there. Like a lot of likes, followers, started getting sponsors, had people send me free stuff. I was like, this is cool. And then people didn't believe that like I actually caught all those fish in my pictures. Right. They'll believe women can fish and all this stuff. So that's kind of where the, we decided to like, let's start a YouTube channel and like show people I'm doing this and hooking my own bait and catching my own fish and whatever. Um, and was literally like one of the first people to officially start. Like, I'm like, what if, they call me back home like the OG or like the grandma fishing because they, they know me from like very first person doing it all these years ago. So we're still doing it up to today. We have like over 900 videos, two boats. I'm literally like living the dream. Like it's pretty oh, sick. I, like I, I love to fish. I believe. Yeah. I mean, and it would be to me. But. Yeah, I really enjoy the fishing. He likes being on the boat, but like I'm the one who'll be out from sunrise to sunset, like fishing, like till the very end. It's a hard job because you can't guarantee the fish are going to bite. You oh, know, yeah, it's a whole thing. We're not like this. Anything. Right. Like but tonight. We're going to try our best. Exactly. Yeah. All right, guys, we arrived at the first spot. Just missed. This is so cool. He's already got the first fish in the boat. What is that? Catfish? Yeah. Yes, Heck yeah, there's another one. People are shooting like crazy. <laughs> and I missed. Oh, jeez up. Oh, that's mullet. We're thick now. Oh, <laughs> oh I got him. I got a fish. <laughs> I got him in the tail. And he came off. Unbelievable. Oh. That's all right. Starting to get the hang of this, guys. This is wicked out here. I got him. Nice. I got a fish, guys. I shot that catfish earlier. It came off. I finally shot a fish. I'm just practicing here because this is just totally different territory than what I'm used to completely. But we got a gar in the boat. Check that out. Nice shot. All right. So this is just the ultimate bow fishing setup boat right here. Captain Butch over here built this boat from scratch, all by himself, with nothing like from the ground up. So it's just the thickest bow fishing boat you could ever imagine. And I've got my bow here with the first kill of the night. Let's get him into the fish box and keep at it. There's all kinds of awesome fish here for me to get into. Big carp, big catfish, I think I mentioned that earlier. All kinds of awesome stuff that I'm not used to back home. So the night's just beginning, let's get after it. I got him! I got him! Yes, he's staying on there. Nice! We got a mudfish. That's okay, though. All right, look at this guy. Is that a mudfish? Yeah, that's a mudfish. Bowfin. Bowfin mudfish, that's also a name. I actually just learned from Captain Bob that this fish is actually... Oh, oh I'm sorry. Sorry. This fish is actually a fish that eats its own body weight within 24 hours. Like these fish are just so crazy. So beautiful mudfish right there. Look at him, golden color in this water. All right, another species for me. Pretty cool. Got him! <laughs> that was awesome guys. Just shot a big old carp. And we literally just got my GoPro shut up, put it on and he's like, shoot him. We got him. Yes, we gotta hold on. All right, guys, looks like I stoned this fish. Oh, he's stoned. Yeah, he's done. Look at this grass carp. So cool. Oh my God. <laughs> this is massive. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, Whoa! Look at that fish! That was the biggest That's thing you ever shot. That's officially my biggest fish I've ever shot. Look at that! That is so sick. Big old grass carp. Perfect shot too. Oh, excuse me. It is a common carp, not a grass carp. I am incorrect. In a very large common carp. Common carp. Excuse me. All right. All right. We're gonna get on some more fish, guys. I'm gonna get this arrow out and I'll show you this beautiful fish. All right, this is about a, tw a 30 to 35 pound common carp, approximately. Again, my biggest fish I've ever shot. So sick. Whoa, I got him. Hope he stays on right now. Thank you. Oh my God, oh my God, he's running, he's running. He's under the boat. There he is, nice car. Woo. Is he through the bill? Oh shit. Thank you. Hold on. Let me just reel this in real quick. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Perfect. All right. Look at this shot. Oh my god, he's about to come out. Through the bill, dude. Look at that. Ready? Watch out. <laughs> Woo! Look at that shot. That's wild. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, that's how I shot that little guy that came off earlier. But that's gonna be my biggest gar. That's about to rip right through. All right, guys. So that's the, the traditional gar, correct? The traditional gar. That's a nice size one. Definitely. Again, one of the biggest gars is the biggest gar I've ever shot. So let's get this bow out. But all these fish are so gorgeous in this clear, crystal clear, fresh water that we're in today. That is the wildest shot. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. Normally, we would just let this guy go, but in case I don't get anything else, this fish is delicious to eat. They got delicious back straps on them, so we're going to put them in the cooler and get back to hunting. These guys are waiting on me. Let's go. Thank you. Get it. Get it. Thank you. <laughs> he stuck, he stuck Woo! There's your damn catfish. I got a catfish. Check it out. Yeah, no worries. You're good. I know we're wrapped. I know we're wrapped. All right, guys. Check that out. Gorgeous channel cat. That's a really nice one for this area. About 14 pounds. Gorgeous fish. Apparently, they're delicious to eat. So I'm really excited to clean and cook this bad boy. And once again, another fish I have never shot. Just amazing, and that was the coolest shot. Both of them missed it, and then I went and shot it and oh. managed to get it. But it was really cool, it was a team effort to like get this fish. And we, that's what we've been doing, is shooting each other's fish when we miss. And I just happened to get that fish really close to the boat, so that was pretty cool. Sweet. Got him, got him, got him. Is that a channel or that's a blue cat? Okay, I don't know my difference between cats yet. Woo! Another big channel cat for me. Now that is my personal best. Finally starting to get on some more fish. We're starting to see a lot more fish. Look at that shot right in the tail. He was just swimming by us and I got super lucky on that shot. I literally probably made, I don't even know, a couple hundred shots tonight and shot five or six fish and had quite a few come out with the air barb. So. It's definitely putting your time in on the water and shooting these delicious fish. Let's get the tip out. Woo, all the way back home to a sizzle. We made it! <laughs> we literally got home the next day and then, yeah, we're here. We're gonna fillet up this beautiful channel catfish. Wanna big, give a big thank you to, uh, to um, Butch and Bob for taking us out. There Good he is. Big. It was really cool on this shot because he actually stuck it first right here with the bow 
and it, uh, the barb ended up coming out. That's where it first got stuck in there. Came out and then the fish was taken off, swimming away, and then I nailed it right in the back here and got it. So it was a really cool shot. It yeah, was it was. Super different and a lot of fun and I can't wait to do it again. So let's fillet this up, this fish. I'm just thinking I'm gonna fillet it like a normal fish, like I would any other fish. And we're just gonna take it as we go along. It's Hold a on. I gotta give a disclaimer. It's so it's so hot out right now. My camera, crazy. the lens is not fogging up. So hold on a second. <laughs> this head is so crazy. I've never filleted a channel catfish, so we're just gonna go with the flow here and figure out where to fillet it. But I'm gonna just try to follow this bone line and go all the way down like a traditional fish. I think he's large enough in order to do that. Just keep going down. And what about? I'm very excited. To eat I it, always though. hear about about pliers and pulling a yeah. skin off and all this stuff. I, I think you can do that with these larger fish, but I think that's more of a, using the pliers is better for the smaller catfish. But I did look up a few videos on YouTube and honestly, this is how everybody did it. So um, again, I'm just used to this and the pliers I do have, but we're just gonna fillet it up. Wow, it actually looks really good. It does. Nice. Beauty. Look at that. Oop, Woo here go all my knives being a lefty, putting my knives on the wrong side of the yeah. table. And I know they got a crazy rib cage, so we're gonna try to leave that intact. Oh. But this does not look bad at all. Looks pretty good. No, it looks great. I'm just using my standard or sizzle blade. Seems to work for most fish, no complaints here. But I'm just trying to find out where, it's got a big old bone right there. And I know this rib cage sticks out quite far. So What's the name of that? Is it a hardhead catfish? Channel catfish. Oh, channel catfish. Channel catfish. Um, I know that this is probably like a 14, 13, 14 pounder here. Um, and I think they get bigger. And this is the first time you ever clean one of these, isn't it? Yeah, there was also blue cats in the river that we were in. We did see a few way deep underneath the water column. Yeah, that's all, that's all ribs in there. Yeah. And uh, we missed the shots on those guys, but there's up to 50 pound fish in that river. Crazy. All right, that's pretty good right there. Skin's and yeah, tough. I didn't take off these spines just worked around it yeah but did a pretty good job for my first time so crazy there's my shot so we're just gonna you know cut around that that's obviously um meat that's not good any longer so i'm just gonna skin it up like a normal fish i don't think it's the end of the world if you guys think i'm doing this wrong go ahead and comment below but i know everybody has their way of flaying fish but you know what it's working so we're not going to complain and then i'm just going to keep it up a little bit that looks like a ray almost right off there. the skin line yeah and using, I actually switched to my um, eight inch curved blade just so I can fillet it off nicely in all one take. But the six inch is a little small. That was easy. There's really not even a bloodline there. It looks quite good. Oh, well, I gotta do this again. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, we should have waited. Should have waited. Huh? All right. all right. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. And then like these little things that were part of the tail, we can just slice that off, flip it around. I don't even think that's a bloodline to worry about. You could like go in there like that, cut that out, but that's really not even nothing. And then we're just gonna break that up into sections like right here. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna fry it, right? Fry it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, and then we'll take off this piece. That's a little bit of waste, but whatever. And then just break it up into equal sections and that's ready to eat. Woo, All right. awesome. All right, filleted up my first channel catfish. And uh, let's head in the house and eat our first channel catfish. Cooking with pudding. What's up guys? Thanks so much to us for cleaning that catfish for the first time. And welcome guys to another edition of Cooking with Pudding, Georgia catfish fry style. So this is right here. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'm high on mangoes over here. <laughs> We've been having a lot of mangoes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I just did a simple thing with this fish and it's gonna go off in two seconds. But I, uh, in Georgia, they told me to fry fish. Actually, what did I fry first over there? The crappie and coat it with mustard and then in any sort of fry thing. So I use this mustard. Standard yellow mustard. Which is only a year and a half past the expiration date yeah. in the closet. No big deal. Yeah. And then, oh, hold on, let me get these That's out. That's how he rolls. All right, so those are out. You gotta let those cool off. But usually we try them and it's so hot. And then you can use any sort of thing to put them in, you know, any sort of seasoning but, or for the top, for the layer. 
But I just use this Louisiana fish fry stuff, pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, peanut oil, and I put it in our Amazon our fryer, which is on the Amazon store. All yes. kind of stuff you see me cooking with and everything else is all in the Amazon store. Let me take yes. this for us. All right. And I got some different dipping sauces today, Sizzle. Yeah. I got remoulade. Stone crab. Which has also been in the refrigerator for way too long. This stone crab sauce, which God knows how old that is. Yeah. Stone crab it's season. a mustard sauce. I've never even heard of that before. And stone crab season's been yeah. over for once. Yep. And then we got this tartar sauce, all right? So we're gonna try these things as soon as they cool down a little bit. All right, let's do it to our sizzle. I'm ready. Oh, these are yours, they're a little cooler. What kind, of so what kind of sauce are you gonna try? I'm gonna do the remoulade. I'm doing, all right, I'll do the stone crab then. Here we go. Wow. Whoa, 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 hot. Break. Mm. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we always do that. I don't know if you guys watch it all, if you're new or not, but yeah. we always do that. So. You ate my piece. Look how oh. much he ate. No, I didn't eat any. <laughs> what the heck, man? I had to cook. I gotta taste it to make I sure it's good. I had a piece right here. That's what she said. With remoulade on it. All right. all right, try it again. Here we go. Let's try it. I just went from like eating cold mangoes to eat, eating hot food, and uh, I have sensitive teeth, so that was not fun for She's me. She's over here cleaning mangoes. Man when you have mangoes, you either have 100 mangoes or you have no mangoes. Let me see. Mm. Let's go. Still a little on the hot side, but very delicious. I mean, it's super white meat. The crab sauce Look is the best. The steam coming off it. Mm -hmm. I think the remoulade's the best. Yeah, but you can see there's a nice coating on there. All right, good job, everybody. We both don't really fit in the screen. All right. I'm too fat. <laughs> Not right here, I'll at least. Like he just hey. like pushed me out of the way. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. Go ahead and comment down below if you want to see me shoot more giant fish like that. That was Ooh, so that was awesome. much fun. Thanks for watching. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching at ease. Boom. Stay at ease at the campground. At ease down below. Don't, and don't forget, this next video, I picked it out just for you. And subscribe, like, and share. Tell your friends.